I close early? <sighs> it's not like I'll get any customers. Hello there. You must be seeking refuge with the International Trade Association. The Outlander Affairs Agency took you for all you're worth, I suppose. Ah, oh, good. That's a relief. You need to be careful, or you'll find yourself losing your savings all at once. We heard the Association has been having some difficulties lately. Is that true? Yes. Left, right, and center. Obstacles at every turn. But that's nothing new for us. The Sokoku Decree certainly makes things difficult for anyone who wants to come here from overseas. But it's not the root cause of our woes. The Sokoku Decree might restrict our scope of activity, but in and of itself it doesn't stop us from being able to enjoy a comfortable existence. No. What's really squeezing us Outlander merchants dry is... Those Mora Grubbers from the Kanjo Commission. Oh, of the three commissions, that's the one that oversees everything on retail, isn't it? That's right. They impose astronomical tax rate, unbelievable regulations, and that's not the worst of it. They just issued a new tax decree recently that, for some reason, completely changes the way we pay our taxes. It used to be Mora, but now it's something called Crystal Marrow. Crystal Marrow? What's that? Oh, something that most of us in the Association had never heard of before either, until the new decree came along. Eventually, one of the older Liyue merchants recalled that he once shipped a batch of it to Snezhnaya in his youth. So, in order to pay our taxes, we began an arduous search for this crystal marrow. But then we found we'd only managed to create a bigger problem for ourselves. The rising demand for Crystal Marrow drove the price higher and higher. <sighs> now there's only one vendor who even has it in stock. We can't get a hold of it anywhere else. Uh, isn't that what they call a monopoly? Exactly. So this vendor keeps pushing the price up, and we have no choice but to buy from them because the tax decree forces us to. It's a vicious cycle. The consequence of which is that our taxes will soon exceed our profits. And once that happens... <sighs> we've tried communicating with the Commission directly. But this is a nation where the cries of a few struggling merchants will never be heard over the ever-present roar of thunder. <sighs> Fontaine, my dear homeland. I miss you an awful lot at the moment. Sounds awful. They're really bleeding them dry. What do you think we should do? Uh, that vendor... I've actually done business with him in the past, but after a point he stopped contacting us. I have no idea where he sources the stuff. Hmm. Well, it definitely sounds like he's being unfair. How do we find him? We could go talk to him and see if he lets anything slip. Hey. That's a pretty good idea. Since you're not affiliated with the Association, and you're new to Rito, he may just let his guard down. If I remember correctly, our usual meeting point with him is under a tree by the coast in the residential district. See if you can find him there. Got it! We're on the case! I don't think I recognize you. Are you new arrivals? Haha, <laughs> very funny. 
Real fixers don't need to refer to themselves that way. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. So, what do you need with me? The sheer nerve. You don't go around asking questions like that. If I gave you my sources, I might as well hand you the whole darn business. Trade secret, got it? You know what trade and secret mean, right? This guy's got a bad attitude. Ha! <laughs> Are you even buying? Oh, I see what's going on here. Carisu and his associates sent you here to try and plead their case, didn't they? <laughs> They're wasting their time. The price is non-negotiable, not by a single mora. Hey, what's your problem? Get out of here, go on. Tell them they're lucky to be buying from me in the first place, and they ought to be more grateful. If it weren't for me, they'd be in seriously hot water. What are we gonna do? There's no talking to this guy. Good idea, let's check back in with him. was quick. You resolved it already? Um, actually, we're having a little trouble. Oh? Well, by all means, tell me what you need. I'll help as much as I can. Getting you to go fixing things when you've only just arrived is quite a demand. Oh, that guy? I'm familiar. He used to be a bit of a sorry sight, selling shells that he collect on the beach just to get by, but he seems to have suddenly shot up in the world recently. I can only assume he must have found himself a patron after leaving the International Trade Association. Huh. You're saying he used to be a member of the International Trade Association? So he's an outlander too? Yes. Couldn't you tell when you spoke to him? That's right. Werner was born in Mondstadt, then went into the shipping business, trading between Leah and Inazuma. When Inizuma closed to the outside world, he was one of a group of outlanders that ended up stranded on Rito. Huh. What a bummer! The International Trade Association was initially very generous to him, but over time, with decree after decree, the association members found it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. So he left the association and turned his back on them! <laughs> I'm sure it's more nuanced than that. I believe even the most ungrateful and cold-hearted of people still have some amount of gratitude and warmth left in them somewhere. Really? Is that all you need to know? Well then, it sounds like you may have found a way in with him. What are you doing back here? Just because I got plenty of time on my hands doesn't mean I want to waste any of it talking to you. Huh? Where is this coming from? Mondstadt? You were talking about... M Mondstadt? I can sense it now. So familiar, but I can't remember the last time I was there. <sighs> the scent of Mondstadt. Oh, how it takes me back. Oh, my hometown. The home of freedom. How I long to go back and visit. Oh, it's working! <sighs> oh, oh. <clears throat> so, trying to play my heartstrings like a liar, are you? I know what you're up to. Huh? What is this? What are you up to now? Just close your eyes already! You mean... the sound of the ocean? <gasps> Leah Harbor! 
I can see it so clearly. Uh, oh, and the sound of the waves, the calls of the merchants. Xiao lanterns. <laughs> I'm right there at the lantern right. Oh, look at them floating up into the sky. This guy has a really active imagination. Either that or he really does miss Liyue Harbor. <sighs> Liyue. Liyue. Wait. Stop. That's enough. Don't make me relive it anymore. My poor heart can't take it. You mean... the folks from the International Trade Association? And I suppose they are far from home, just like me. Often, I'll sneak down to the shore at night and listen to the sound of the waves. I like to imagine it's the voice of my hometown, carried across the ocean. I've run into folks from the association more than a few times doing just that, but I always hide my face and slip away. <sighs> Don't you think I've wanted to talk things through with them and free myself from this anguish? Um, well, no one's stopping you, so... <sighs> They're so resilient. None of them had anyone else to rely on, so they rallied together, committed to finding a way to survive. But I couldn't do it. I'm not strong enough. So, I caved. Those people, they'd make the smallest of promises, offer the most measly benefits, and I'd do whatever they asked of me. And make Mondstatters look like the worst people in the world. All right, I'll tell you the whole story. It's eating me up inside, and I can't take it anymore. You ready to talk now? But I betrayed them. I can't show my face there. Uh, come on, you scaredy cat. Look, you messed up, but now it's time to make things right. So come on, get it off your chest. What's the deal here? It's a scheme by the tax collection Ashigaru, Keijiro and his companions. They start by overtaxing the merchants, then take the extra crystal marrow they receive and stockpile it. Once the merchants run out of places to buy crystal marrow, they get me to sell that extra stock back to the merchants at an extortionate price, with the proceeds going to the tax collection Ashigaru. It's just... it's plain evil gouging them like this. I'm their puppet, yes. But my cut is a tiny fraction of what we take in total. It's barely enough for me to live on. Evidence? Hmm... You're right. Without conclusive evidence, he will never admit it. Now that I think about it, whenever I report back to him after a sale, he always heads to the same place. It's always made me suspicious. As it happens, I handed some Mora over to him not long ago. I, I can show you where he went if you want. Really? Well, then there's no time to lose! Let's go! Keijiro, it's him! After him! Too close! That's too close! You'll notice this for sure! He's getting further and further away! Let's catch up a little! Ah, Ryoko, how's business? <laughs> All the better thanks to your generous patronage. Good! Thankfully, I earn plenty these days. If you wanna taste oh, but of course, wine, tax collection is difficult work. Now, who else is behind on payments? 
Let me think. Yes, the trade association click still needs to be brought into line. Sorry. I need to think about it. He's getting... Hmm. What was that sound? Shh! Quiet! Don't let him find us! Must be hearing things. Ah, drat. I'm behind schedule. I need to hurry. What could he be doing at a place like this? It looks like he buried something over there, didn't it? Why don't we take a look? Let me take a look here. Aha, yes! This is what we're looking for. A clear and complete record of every single transaction, each one proof of his guilt. Great! Well, now we have our hard evidence. Let's go tell Carissa the good news, shall we? Uh, um, I'll... I'll say goodbye to you here, then. Huh? You aren't gonna come with us? I... I need a little more time before I'm ready to face the head of the association. I'm sorry. Huh. Poor Werner is a pretty awkward guy, huh? But we really don't have anything left. If this keeps up, our sales will come in at a loss. There'll be nothing left for us to do but starve. You know the decree. The rules are the rules. No discounts, no exceptions, and no excuses. Hmm? And who are you? Another new member of the association? It just so happens that we found your little ledger. So now we're here to tell everyone all about how you embezzled Crystal Marrow to sell it right back to the taxpayers. Huh? Is this true? You've been swindling us. Well, uh, you, you, you see, the, the ta taxes, uh... Let me take a look at the ledger. Well, would you look at that? Every payment the association has made is right here in your personal ledger. So, Mr. Keijiro, it seems you have some explaining to do. How shall we settle this, hmm? <laughs> so you think you can use this against me, do you? I it's quite obvious that I'm merely trying to earn a modest living for myself, like anyone else! Word has it that Samurai and the Commission place great importance on reputation and prestige. Though I'm sure Commission members won't blame you once word gets out. Huh? Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? No, not at all. I'm simply stating that it would be quite a pity if an illustrious gentleman such as yourself were to have their reputation tarnished. Uh, well, even if what you say is true, what do you suggest we do about it? I believe you still have a quantity of crystal marrow in your possession, correct? Perhaps that crystal marrow could be used as compensation for the recent tax hike and us merchants could finally have some more breathing room. Is that it? Oh, do you have any idea the hoops I had to jump through to get the crystal marrow and keep it hidden? Oh, fine. In that case, I'll send it over to you today. And not even an ounce of shame for his actions. So that's it? My shop's been closed for weeks now. I've even had to ask my friends to help bail me out. What about my losses? Come on, Harrison. We've already struck a good deal here. I'm sick of being pushed around like this. 
I won't let him off so easily. Harrison. Hey, what's all this racket? Does someone dare question the decree? Ah, Chief. You've arrived. What was all the commotion I heard just now? Oh, we were just discussing a minor tax issue. I do my utmost to lend them a helping hand, but they're never grateful. A helping hand? The only thing you're doing is stuffing your greedy pockets with our hard-earned wealth. I assure you that Hirage Shinsuke will hear of this. Oh, and you dare to utter the Commissioner's name. You outlanders have no respect for the rules. Seize the merchants. We will resolve this dispute back at headquarters. Uh-oh. This is going in a bad direction. Gentlemen, gentlemen, come now. Is there any need for this? If there's a dispute to resolve, let's get a drink and talk it over. Who are you supposed to be? And why in my right mind would I join you for a drink? Ha! <laughs> you never heard of the Fixer? Here's my card. Huh. You're from the Yashiro Commission. Shh. Huh. Well, this is Kanjo Commission territory. However powerful the Yashiro Commission may be, you have no business meddling in Rito's affairs. <laughs> of course not, of course not. Still, perhaps you could show the young lady of our clan some courtesy. You wouldn't want your name showing up in a petition to the Shogun, would you? That fan, the Shirasagi Himegimi. I don't need any trouble with her. <sighs> okay, let's forget all this. It'll give us one less thing to worry about. But, Chief! Enough! We're leaving! Let's get dinner one day soon, gentlemen. My treat, I insist. <sighs> no response, huh? I suppose that bridge is well and truly burned, then. Thank you so much, Toma. But I'm sorry your relationship with the Kanjo Commission had to suffer for our sake. <laughs> hey, hey, I was joking. It's a small price to pay, and you're more than welcome. If there's anyone you should be thanking, it's the Traveler. He's the one who found a way to turn things around. <sighs> if nothing else, I'm sure the tax collection Ashigaru will tread a little more carefully in the future. Koa? What was all that? Shh, shh. Not here. Too many people listening. <laughs> Let's move somewhere else. Corruption seems rife in the Kanjo Commission. They truly are rotten to the core. <sighs> All right, time for me to answer your questions. What would you like to know? <laughs> Straight to the point. Let me reintroduce myself. I belong to the Kamisato clan of the Yashiro Commission on Narukami Island. I'm an attendant of the Shirasagi Himegimi. <sighs> You've been keeping your true identity a secret from us this whole time? Yashiro Commission. Guessing that's another branch of the Tri Commission? Correct. The Kamisato clan is the head of the Yashiro Commission, who manage ceremonial and cultural affairs. I'd go into more detail on what exactly that covers, but I'm not even sure myself. I'm just someone who was fortunate enough to be taken in by the Kamisato clan. My role is to take care of the daughter of the clan, Kamisato Ayaka, also known as the Shirasagi Himigimi. Seems like she must be super famous in Inazuma, given the reaction of those guys just now. <laughs> oh, most definitely. She's graceful, dignified, and kind-hearted, too. The people of Inazuma quite adore Miss Kamisato. Her fame even somewhat eclipses that of her older brother, Kamisato Ayato, despite the fact that he's the current head of the clan. I suppose those who treat others with compassion earn themselves the same treatment in return. Miss Kamisato's situation certainly seems to attest to that. Take me, for example. I'm just an attendant, and yet she treats me as an equal, as she would a friend. You're asking the right questions. And, to be honest, I don't want to keep you in the dark any more than is necessary. Firstly, you should know that being a fixer is not something you can fake. I spent the better part of a month tirelessly building up a network of relationships on the island. And I got to know Captain Beto during that time, too. Still pretty good going for just a month's work. 
<laughs> well, maybe I have a slight knack for schmoozery. But the main thing was, I had to make sure I'd be in time to receive you when you arrived. Inazuma may have closed off to the outside world, but that hasn't stopped a lot of people from hearing about your feats in Monsta and Liu. So, when Miss Kamisato heard of your intention to come to Inazuma, she began looking forward to your arrival with great anticipation. She's excited to find out whether the rumors are true. That is, that you have what it takes to change the tide of the times. Change the tide of the times? In the test I gave you earlier, although there were a few hiccups at the end, it was you who found the way to turn the situation around. Navigating powerful people, using their character flaws to your advantage, it's just what Miss Kamisato had hoped to see. With your help, even the Vision Hunt Decree... Ah... Uh, hmm... That's an unexpected development. Perhaps our sources were misleading. Yes, of course. I completely understand, and as agreed, I shall help set that up for you. Huh. Toma sure didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> well, my work on Rito is done. So I suppose this is goodbye for now. Oh, uh, one more thing. This invitation letter is for you. When you get to Narukami Island, you can find me at the Komori Tea House, as per the letter. Good luck with everything. See you soon. Thomas, not such a bad guy, huh? Uh, we should get going. Huh? What's up? Oh, right! Paimon forgot all about that! Wait, so did Toma forget that too? Oh, darn it! No wonder he was so matter-of-fact about the whole thing! As soon as we get off Ritu, Paimon's going straight to Komori 